in Bloxbury and came across a huge mansion with a sign out front saying the family there wants to adopt someone. You guys, this is seriously one of the nicest houses I've ever seen in Bloxburg. The people here must be so rich. Okay, and I'm kind of curious to see what living in a house like this would be like. So I'm gonna try to get adopted, but first I probably need to become a kid. So I'm going to run back to my house super quick. All right, you guys, I just made it to my house. I'm going to run inside turn myself into a kid, and then I'm gonna have to bike all the way back over there. Okay. Okay, you guys, hopefully I can now try to get adopted, and uh, it took me a while to get over here, so hopefully nobody beat me to it. All right, I'm not entirely sure how this adoption thing works, since normally in order to adopt someone, you go to the adoption agency, but uh, they don't really have a gate, so I'm just gonna pull into their front yard and like leave my bike right here. Here, I guess, uh, and uh, knock on the door. I don't know, maybe that's why they have a giant sign out front. Holy cow, guys, I can kind of see inside just because their door is literally glass and they have a giant piano in there. This is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna stand back here. Oh, oh, I see somebody coming. Oh my gosh, you guys, Mr. Galore and Mrs. Galore. Are these people seriously thinking about adopting a kid? They look so fancy. Mr. Galore just said, oh, hello, how can we help you? I'm just gonna say, uh, hi, I saw your sign about adopting. I am a homeless child and would like a family. Mr. Galore just said, ah, I see. Why are they looking at me like that? They're like circling me, okay. Miss Galore just said, Oh man, oh wait, she said, are you pranking us? Wait, huh? No, why would I be pranking you? Mr. Galore just said, oh, guys, what the heck? That was strange. Mr. Galore said, well, in that case, we'll be happy to adopt you. Wait, seriously? It was that easy? He said, we've been trying to adopt a kid for weeks and nobody has been interested. Wait, seriously, in this house, nobody has been interested? He said, finally, our family feels complete. I'm just gonna say, aw, yay, I, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot believe that actually just worked out. Why wouldn't someone want to live with this family? They seem super nice so far and their house is beautiful. Miss Galore just said, let's head inside. We can do a little tour. OMG. Oh my gosh, guys. I cannot wait to see what this house looks like. I've been successfully adopted. I wonder what my new life is going to be like. Holy cow, you guys. Look at this house. This is crazy. I thought the outside was nice. This place is beautiful. Mr. Galore just said, welcome to your new home. Holy cow. He said, we've already prepared a room for you. Follow me. Guys, I'm about to see my new bedroom. If it's anything like the rest of this house, this is going to be insane. Oh my gosh. Wait, seriously? This whole room is mine? Mr. Galore just said, here we are. This is nicer than literally my entire house. I mean, look how big it is. There's so much room. There's no way this is the bathroom. What the heck? This is crazy. Mr. Galore just said, so do you like it? I yes. Oh my gosh. But I do have a, a question. Mr. Galore just said, yes. Are y'all millionaires or something? This house is crazy. I mean, and just for a bedroom? I mean, I would never have to leave. Mr. Galore just started laughing and said, ha ha, you were almost right. Hold on. Are y'all billionaires? He said, we're actually a bit richer than that. If they're billionaires, I'm gonna freak out. Mr. Galore just said, bit more. And Miss Galore said, ha ha, that's a funny joke, honey. A little more than that. More? Wait, no way. Trillionaires? Oh my gosh, Mr. Galore just said, yep, we are trillionaires. Guys, I am freaking out. I cannot believe I got adopted by trillionaires. No wonder they could afford all this stuff. This is like nothing to them. I don't even know how to act right now. I just got adopted into a family of trillionaires. Miss Galore just said, anyway, with that aside, you want to go shopping or some new clothes with us now that you've gotten comfortable with the house? OMG. Yes! Seriously, guys, I just got here and they're already offering to take me shopping? These people are on another level. Guys, we have been at the mall for hours and my new mom really knows how to shop. I mean, look at all of those bags she has and these designer clothes she bought me. I've never worn anything this nice in my entire life. Miss Galore just said, you look so good in those clothes, Carrie. I'm just gonna say, uh, thanks. I love them. She just said, time to head home. Okay, you guys, kind of glad we're going home. I am exhausted after all of that shopping. But so far, being adopted into this family has been so fun. They are literally 
so nice. A lot of times, rich parents can be really, like, absent or whatever, like, not want to... Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That guy just came out of nowhere! Down and out, Dex just said, is there any way you could spare some change? I'm broke and really hungry. Oh my gosh, you guys, wait. I feel so bad for this guy. If I wasn't a kid, I would totally give him some money. But, uh, I have no idea how my new parents are gonna react to this. Normally, super rich people are kind of cold to, uh, homeless people like this. Oh, Mr. Galore just said, oh, well, of course. Wait, is that an entire bag of money? Oh my gosh. He just said, here you go, good sir. And down and out, Dex just said, thank you so much. Oh, there he goes. He just ran off with all the money. And Mr. Galore just said, of course. That was so cool of him. I'm just gonna say, wow, that, that was so nice. Guys, I have yet to see a downside to these parents. I genuinely thought he would have told that guy to, like, go away or something. Mr. Glor just said, the rich should always help out the poor whenever they get the chance. Oh, my gosh. My new family is amazing. All right, you guys. It has been a few days since I was adopted into this trillionaire family, and I am shocked at how much fun I am having. I have literally been hanging out with my parents every day. This is the first day they said they've actually had some work to get done. So, oh, what the heck was that? I think somebody's at the door. Don't worry about that. I'll get it. I didn't know we were having any people over it. Whoa, who the heck are you, crooked Carl? He just said, hey there. I'm just going to say, uh... Hi? He said, is your dad home? Uh, yes. Dad! Someone is at the door. Guys, he is giving me bad vibes. Who the heck is this dude? Okay, okay there's my dad. Hopefully, he'll just shoo him away. Crooked Carl just said, hey. And my dad said, oh, hello, Carl. Wait, he knows this guy? And he just said, come on in. He's actually inviting this guy in? Oh, my gosh. Crooked Carl just said, are you ready to talk business? Dad, is this guy one of your business partners? I have never seen my dad get that look on his face before. Oh, my gosh. He just said, follow me upstairs to my office. Oh, my gosh. What the heck, you guys? My dad just got so serious and almost scary looking. What kind of business is he doing with that guy? Guys, I'm in the kitchen now with my mom, and I still can't get over how weird that sketchy guy at the front door was. And also, after thinking about it, I don't think I even know what my parents do for work. But they are trillionaires somehow? My mom just said lunch is almost ready. Guys, she seems like she's in a pretty good mood right now, so maybe I can ask her some questions. I'm just gonna say, I was wondering, what are you and dad's jobs? Especially since you're so rich. What do you do? Guys, I'm hoping that they're still pretty open about their work. Maybe I can play it off like I just like want to do what they do or something when I grow up. My mom just started laughing a lot and said, ha ha, I'd love to explain. Ha ha ha. Wait, wait, what is so funny? I'm just gonna throw some question marks. What the heck, guys? She started acting very uncomfortable. She said, but you won't understand it, honey. You're too young. Oh, okay. Hey, why is my mom avoiding answering the question? Guys, she just put my food down. So I'm going to take some food and try to act normal. I'm going to ask another question. I'm going to say, uh, well, was that guy at the door dad's business partner? My dad didn't fully answer the question earlier. So honestly, I'm not sure. My mom just said, yes, he is. They've been friends since forever. Wait, really? Okay. Uh, he doesn't look like a normal businessman though. I'm just gonna say, well, what does dad do with him? My mom just said, oh, well. Guys, she's starting to look kind of nervous. You'll learn all about that when you're older. Wait, wh what? She said, so for now, you should just eat and stop asking questions. Uh, okay. Guys, I don't know about you, but that was kind of weird, wasn't it? I mean, my family has been very open with me all the way up to this point. So why do they keep hiding information about their jobs as soon as that really sketchy guy showed up? Okay, you guys, it is really late now and both my parents have just gone to bed. I haven't been able to sleep since I can't stop thinking about how sketchy my parents have been today. And I wanna do a little bit of investigating, okay? My dad's office is just down the hall. So I think I'm gonna sneak in there and see if I can find out what his quote unquote meeting was about. All right, you guys, here we go. I'm gonna try to be really careful. All right, I'm going inside, I'm going inside. I'm gonna shut the door behind me. Everything looks pretty standard. Wow, lots of boxes, okay. I'm not seeing anything strange. It's all pretty organized, looks like a normal office. Lots of money on the desk, but they are trillionaires. So I guess that makes sense. 
they had any meeting papers like or anything or like any notes about what they were talking about so i honestly don't really know what else there is to look for oh oh no uh, uh, oh no, uh, he just said, Carrie, what are you doing in my office? Guys, I just got caught. I can't tell him I was trying to investigate. He just said, Carrie, guys, I'm gonna get in trouble. Uh, well, I was sleepwalking, sleepwalking, uh, ha 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 ha, bad habit. I can't, can't control it, can't help it. He just said, what? Uh, ha ha, yeah, I sleepwalk. I'm gonna say, I'm so sorry for uh, coming in here. I didn't mean to. Guys, I do not know if he's going to fall for this at all. He said, okay. No worries. Oh, he did. Okay, I'm gonna say, um, okay, uh, good night now. I'll, I'll just, uh, go on back to bed. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Guys, that was so close. I cannot believe that lie actually worked, but now I'm kind of conflicted. I didn't find anything suspicious inside the office, but I still want to know what he was talking to that sketchy guy about, because I kind of have a bad feeling about how my family is so rich. It's the next day and I'm hanging out with my friend Maddie right now and I've filled her in on what's been going on because I have a new plan to investigate my family, but I'm going to need Maddie's help in order to do it, you guys. I have a pretty bad feeling and I always trust my gut, so when things like this happen, I've gotta at least see if I can figure out what's truly going on, even if it's nothing bad. Maddie just whispered to me and said, are you sure this plan will work? I'm just gonna whisper back and say yes. All you have to do is distract my mom and get her out of the house, okay? I don't care how you do it, just to make sure that she doesn't come looking for me later. Maddie just said, hmm, okay. All right, you guys, there she goes. Hopefully she can do this. And then I can move on with the next part of my plan. All right, oh, Maddie just put in chat and just said, Miss Galore, will you take me to the hospital? But oh wait, what? She said my leg hurts. Uh, okay, I know I told Maddie to do whatever she needed to do, but I didn't expect her to say she needed to go to the hospital. Miss Glor just said, what? What happened? Oh no. Miss Glor just said, you know what? Never mind. Let's go. Maddie said it hurts really bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess that's good. My mom is gonna take Maddie to the hospital. Hopefully I can do this in enough time before she realizes that Maddie's actually perfectly fine. But Whatever, the first part of my plan is done, even if it was a little dramatic, okay? I did overhear that my dad was picking up that same sketchy guy and bringing him back home for another business meeting. So my plan is to hide inside his office and eavesdrop on their meeting and see what the heck they're talking about. So go ahead and sneak in. Luckily, he doesn't lock the door, which is good. And obviously there's not a ton of places to hide in here, but that is why I came up with the perfect disguise okay here we go you guys boom i am a box and now i can blend in with all of these other boxes perfectly okay. one of the things about being rich is you get a lot of packages and you don't always throw out the boxes all the time so i guess that's why he has this pile of boxes and that's exactly where i'm going to hide so now i just have to sit and wait until my dad's meeting okay you guys i've been hiding in here for a while and i'm pretty sure i heard the front door a while ago so that means my dad is home and he should be having his meeting any minute now so i'm just going so there they are there they are oh my gosh and there is crooked carl that creepy dude crooked carl just said where's your family oh my gosh oh my gosh okay here we go oh mr galore just said i have no idea okay that is good that is good that means he doesn't know that i'm still home maybe my wife took my daughter and her friend shopping okay perfect so far the plan is working exactly as I wanted it to. Okay, and my box disguise seems to be working too. Now it's time to find out why they've been acting so suspicious. Crooked Carl just said, we made great progress on the project, but we need more funding. Wait, what project? Uh, is my dad an investor or something? My dad just said, I understand. I will continue to give you funds. Oh, okay, yeah, but for what? What's the project? Mr. Galore just said, as long as I get what I want, I'll continue to do so. Wait, what is it that he wants? Hold on a second. What the heck? I mean, it's pretty normal for super rich people to like invest in other people's projects, but I don't know. Something about this Carl dude is giving me bad vibes. He just said, I'd like to hear more about the project in detail. Yes, yes, I would also like to hear more about it. Wait, said, please follow me, Carl. Wait, follow you where? No, no, no. What the heck? Is that a secret elevator? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, has that been there the entire time? How did I miss that, guys? What the heck? I'm still not sure what my dad does to make money, but he does have a secret entrance and that cannot be good. I 
have got to follow them. Okay, I need to get out of this box. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot believe this. Here we go. They left it open and they're in the basement. See, it literally says zero down there. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm gonna call the elevator. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I am kind of freaking out right now. Oh, this is a scary elevator. I don't like this one bit. I have no idea what I am about to find. Guys, the elevator door just opened to a really scary underground tunnel. Oh gosh, I do not want to get caught by my dad in that really sketchy man, but I have got to see what the heck they're talking about. I have a really bad feeling about this. This tunnel is so weird. What the heck? There's no way the project they're talking about is legal if they have to hide it away like this in a tunnel. Are you kidding me? What is all that? Wait, there they are. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. I'm going to go hide behind these big rocks. Oh my gosh. What the heck is all this? What are those weapons on the wall? What is all this? Mr. Gore just said, you can fill me in on the details now. Crooked Carl said, your money has helped us hire enough people for your private army wait what the private army mr galore just said perfect that's perfect what does he have to do with a private army he said once my army is trained and ready it'll be a piece of cake to start a war in blocksburg a war what he wants to start a war why he, he's rich shouldn't rich people just want to chill out I uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh i accidentally made a sound oh man they spotted me Crooked Carl just said, who's there? And Mr. Glor said, who's there? I guess there's no point in hiding anymore. What did I just get myself into? Just gonna say, uh, hi, Dad. This is not good. I have a feeling they don't want me down here. My dad just said, Carrie, what are you doing down here? Uh, keep walking? My dad said, I've heard enough with that excuse. You made a big mistake snooping around. Yeah, I had a feeling that wouldn't work a second time. Okay, you know what? Fine. I demand to know why you want to start a war in Bloxburg. I mean, that's insane. You're literally already rich. You're like richer than anybody. I don't know how you can get any richer. He said, well, to take over all of Bloxburg, obviously. He wants to take over Bloxburg. He said, I'm so rich now, but life has been boring. So it's time for me to have some fun. Wait, go on a vacation then. Buy a yacht go on a cruise. I don't know. Maybe don't start a war. He said, once I win the war, I can become king of Bloxburg. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Wait, Crooked Carl just said, Mr. Galore, do you want me to get rid of her now that she knows the secret? Huh? Mr. Galore just said, sure. Wait, but you, you adopted me. He said, I only adopted Carrie so my wife would have someone to go shopping with anyway. Got it. Wait, what? Uh, I was just an accessory to this insane family? Oh my gosh. Okay, you won't get away with this, okay? Because I'm telling the cops. He just said, say your goodbyes, young lady. I I, I don't think so. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. He said, are you dumb? What? E excuse me? Uh, no. I found your secret hideout, didn't I? He said, you can't do that if I get rid of you, okay? And that's why I don't plan on getting caught. Hey, look, over there, a whale, a whale in your lookout. Okay, okay, guys, I'm running, I'm running. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, close the elevator, close the elevator. Oh my God, he just said, get back here. Ah, close the elevator. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Guys, I have got to get the heck out of here. Here, now I'm just going to lock that door. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys, I am trying to go as fast as possible. Okay, here we go, here we go. Going down the stairs, going down the stairs. All right, here we go, here we go. I have got to get the heck out of here. Oh, Maddie! Oh my gosh, guys, I totally forgot Maddie was hanging out with my mom. Oh no, I have got to get away from them too. She just said, what the, um, I'm gonna say, uh, Maddie and I are gonna go hang out. She said, what's going on, honey? Uh, don't worry about it. Come on, Maddie, we have got to get the heck out of here. All right, you guys, I'm off the plot. So as of right now, I think we're good. We actually got out of there before anything bad happened. I cannot believe this rich family is literally trying to start a war. I have got to report this ASAP.